Good morning. I wanted to share a little story with you because it's fresh. It just happened. And so I'm I'm at the I'm just leaving the beach. So I'm on this path from the beach. You can see the sunrise behind me. And what I find really fascinating and interesting about what happened this morning that I want to share with you is that there's a couple of things. So one um well, let me just share the story and then I'll share my takeaways. So I was walking on the beach and I saw something that along the, where the water was breaking on the shore and I wasn't sure what it was. It kind of looked like a coconut that maybe had cracked open, but I don't know. There was just something odd about it and it caught my eye and I looked and it was a dead black bird that was in the, in the, on the sand with the water kind of lapping up against it. And it's funny because just yesterday or the day before I was thinking about, you know, when birds are flying and they die, like they just land wherever. Like, I don't even know why that popped into my head, but it did. So you're getting a glimpse into how my bizarre brain works. <laughs> and so I saw this bird and I thought, wow, okay, well that says something right there. Like it could have been flying over the ocean and then it's here and it's crossing my path. And I know that that is not always a good sign. And I'm very much a believer in the signs and the messengers that come in all forms, um, particularly animal forms. So I sat with that. It didn't feel particularly ominous or upsetting to me, but I thought, let me look it up and see what it means. And so there's a plethora of very negative, dark connotations to that. The symbolism is pretty, pretty, uh, grim. Uh, however, the, there was one somewhat positive spin on it, and that is that it's a time of death and rebirth, letting go of something, some part of you dying off. And I feel like that's really been true for me in my um, experience recently. And that there is this sense of parts are dying off they're not needed anymore so that i can expand and grow in whatever way i meant to now so anyway i just kind of let that be and i did my meditation and i watched the sunrise and i was just walking back and i'm getting ready to turn down this path and i'm now standing on and i heard this like caw, caw, caw. like three caws and i look up and it's a blackbird flying in the sky and I thought, wow, yeah. I mean, talk about a sign of death and rebirth and soaring high. And I don't know, it just felt so amazing. And it's so incredible when the universe, God, source, spirit, whoever, whatever you wanna call this, this power that's beyond our comprehension reveals itself to us um, just wow wow so I share this with you in hopes that you pay attention to the messages that you don't get stuck on one if it tends to be negative or not what you want because there's likely more to the story and just be patient patient with yourself patient with the process but be willing to dig in and get your, your hands a little dirty and pull up your bootstraps, all those things. And know that you're not alone in it. We learn from one another, I say this all the time. So hopefully this story that I'm sharing with you is something that you can take away in your life and then share with people uh, in your world. And just this ripple effect is, uh, is powerful and amazing. So one person can make a huge difference. Um, yeah, and if you're looking for any guidance or support when it comes to animal messengers or um, relationship support with all of this energy right now with the Aries full moon and the Libra new moon, um, reach out. We'll set up a time to talk and see if we're a good fit. And uh, you know, I'd be honored to to be your partner on that on that journey. All right, again, I'm going to say it. We learn from one another. I will see you all very soon.